Hello, gearheads, and uh, you're watching an instructional video presented by GearWire.com. My name is Dan, and I'm going to be uh, showing you how to do parallel drum compression on a drum loop. Uh, we're going to be using Sonar 6, uh, producer edition, uh, but it works in pretty much any DAW the same basic way. Um, I'm going to show you two methods, uh, the first using a send, and the second just uh, duplicating the track. Um, both are fairly simple um, and straightforward. So here they go. Um, let's take a listen. I'm going to just bus our uh, drums out to our master bus and take a listen. This, this, is a, this is a sample from Drum Corps. If you haven't checked out our Drum Corps videos, make sure to do that. Lower our volume a little bit. Okay. So anyway, um, as you can hear, the drums are, are, are already fairly compressed, but uh, if you want to get like a hotter sound out of them, uh, the first method I'm going to use, which is the easiest for me, is uh, create a send to our parallel compression bus. And right here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but here's a, uh, a fader right here. Um, and it, it allows you to select between pre and post. For this particular application, I would recommend using a pre-fader send um because then you could control the level the regular level with the the uh compressed level separately so i'm going to completely bring down our volume on the send and we'll just listen to our, our drum track and uh we're going to be using uh the vintage channel it also has some eq but we're also going to compress the hell out of it by uh moving the threshold down and the gain in all the way up and make the gain out down a bit all right, so let's start feeding our compressor some uh, some juice, and we're gonna see. I'm gonna turn on the gain reduction over here, and we'll start to see it reducing, falling down. And as you can hear, it's uh, beefing up our signal quite a bit. Um, turn down our master just a little bit, and as I add more, it just gets hotter and hotter. You can hear sort of the pumping sound, and we're getting about seven decibels of gain reduction on our compressor. Um, we could just listen to our compressor alone. That's a pretty compressed sound, but adding in our original signal, definitely, uh, it sounds a lot better, basically. It's got that certain sound, it's got a lot of life. Um, the two together definitely sound better. Now the other way, that we would do this is very straightforward. Um, all we need to do is create another track. Uh, make sure that your snap is on so that you don't get any samples moving around weird uh, phase cancellation. So what I've done is just control clicked and copied the track down here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this send. And uh, in Sonar, another great feature allows you to grab an effect that you have on anything, like a bus or a track, and just grab it and move it, and move it up to this track up here. And it has the same settings. So in the same way, I'm gonna play back our original dry signal, and bring in our compressed track. Now this is gonna have actually a different effect because what we're feeding our compressor is a bit louder. Um, so as you can see, we're getting a little bit more gain reduction and therefore a more compressed uh, sound with a lot more pumping going on. So I'm just gonna raise the threshold a little bit to make up for that. You could also bring the gain in down. Uh, every compressor has little tricks you can do to uh, fix that for you. So it's a very basic trick, basically just adding some life to uh, a drum track or a drum loop that otherwise was less life-like. Well, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, have a great day.